Hello everyone, this is Cynthia on Embracing His Word. Well, I am certainly excited to, to be able to do a prayer with you today. Do you want to experience peaceful sleep? You know, oftentimes when we lie down to go to sleep at night, uh, oftentimes the sleep just does not come. So what I like to do is I like to really, when I'm experiencing uh, some challenging times or difficult times, I like to get into the Word of God and allow the Word to really just speak to my heart and speak to my soul about specific things that I'm going through. And I just find scriptures in reference to that particular thing that I'm going through and allow the Holy Spirit to just comfort my heart and speak to my heart through the promises of God. So I will encourage you to do the same thing. And oftentimes, you know, uh, we we forget that we can always turn to the Word of God and we can always uh, depend and place our dependence upon the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us in this day and time. You know, Jesus, when he was talking to his disciples, he knew his time was coming, that he had to lead this, uh, this earth and his fleshly body. So he was talking to his disciples and he said, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Another virgin says, I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. That is John 16, 33. So if we want to experience the peace of God, we have to learn how to rely on God, depend upon him, and believe what his promises says about us. Another scripture I want to read is, it says, and I will make with them a covenant of peace and will cause the evil beasts to cease out of the land and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. You know, this was God speaking uh, to the Israelites, making a covenant of peace with them. And so he wants to make a covenant of peace with us. So when we surrender our lives to Jesus Christ, and we're making, we're actually making a covenant agreement with the Lord Jesus Christ, because Jesus shed his blood for us so that we can walk and experience a covenant of peace with him. Does that mean that we won't have trouble in this world? No, that does not mean that we'll be free from trouble, but we can experience the peace of God in the midst of our trials and difficulties. That is the benefit, a great benefit for a believer in Christ Jesus to yet experience the peace of God in the midst of trials and difficulties. So we need to grab hold of God's word, lean on him, and learn how to trust wholly in Him. Another scripture that the Lord uh, has in His Word is from Isaiah chapter 54, verse 10. It says, And though the mountains should depart, and the hills be shaken or removed, yet my love and kindness shall not depart from you, nor shall my covenant of peace and completeness be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. So we, right here, the, the word lets us know that we have a covenant of peace with the Lord Jesus Christ. So we must understand that God, uh, he has compassion for us. So if we only would just take our problems to God, you know, a lot of times the reason that we cannot sleep is, is it is because of deep inner issues. For example, weary or stress, or we're, we're not uh, relying on God when we're going through a challenging time concerning our finances, or there's deep loss, a loss of a loved one or grief that still the the peace and the joy that you need in order to be able to sleep also illness and disease or or pain somewhere in our bodies or concerning our loved ones we need to really take these things before god 
and allow God to release what he wants to release into our lives so that we can experience the wholeness and the peace that we need uh, at nighttime to be able to sleep. Sometimes the pain uh, that comes through uh, broken relationships or dysfunctional relationships, we all need to take these things to the Lord also to prayer. Unforgiveness, this is one of the biggest things, unforgiveness and resentment and anger that we may have in our heart. And we may not even be aware of those things. And so we get before the Lord and we ask the Lord, Lord, uh, show me those things that's in my heart uh, uh, that's preventing me to be able to sleep in the night. And you'll be surprised if you release and forgive those who have wounded and hurt your heart. You're so disappointed, deeply disappointed you when you just release those things and don't allow the enemy to, to replay these things in our mindset, then we can experience the peace of God because you know when someone has offended you or hurt you and you you're continually holding in your heart that other person is gone going about their business they're enjoying their day but yet here you are not able to sleep so God does not want us to have insomnia he does not want us to have the inability to sleep so that's why he puts it in his word that we must be willing to forgive so if Christ can forgive us while we were yet still sinners, who are we to hold some little uh, thing against someone else? So we must be willing to forgive, to release and let this go so that we can experience the, our healing in our bodies. And a lot of people think, you know, I can get healing and still yet hold on to bitterness and unforgiveness. Or I can experience the peace of God and yet you still want to hold on to bitterness and unforgiveness. It doesn't work that way. So we must be obedient because we have in a covenant with the Lord Jesus Christ. He shed his blood for us so that we can experience the greatest benefits that he has given to us. So let's go before God in prayer. Father, I just thank you, Lord, for your goodness today. I thank you for your mercies. I thank you for your kindness, Father. Lord, you love us with an everlasting love, Father. So, Father, I lift our hearts up before you in prayer. Lord, those that are experiencing difficulty and sleeping at night, Father, or even during the day, Father, I, I pray, Father, that you just begin to reveal and unveil those things, Lord, that we simply need to bring before you and prayer that you would begin to show us lord those things lord that's preventing that sweet perfect sleep that you want us to, to experience because your word says i give sweet sleep to my beloved father i thank you for it right now lord i break off the assignment of the enemy that comes to steal that comes to steal our peace, that comes to steal our joy. I break off that assignment in the powerful name of Jesus. Father, those that are going through financial difficulties, I pray, Father God, that they are looking unto you, Father, leaning on you, trusting in you, Lord, to supply all their needs, Father, because I know, Lord, your word says you are Jehovah Jireh. Lord, you supply all our needs, Father. I thank you for that right now, Father in the powerful name of Jesus. And Father, I pray, Lord God, for our hearts to be faithful unto you, Father. Even in the midst of challenging and difficult times, Father, I pray for faithfulness of our hearts unto you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Lord, I pray against, Lord, the end, the works of the enemy that wants to bring in bitterness resentment father lord i pray for unveiling of those things in our heart father and lord repentant hearts father hearts that are truly broken and contrite before you father lord that you would just begin to release your healing as we are obedient to your word to forgive those who have wounded those who have hurt us lord thank you for your peace oh god that even when we lay down to sleep father we're experiencing that peaceful sleep Thank you, Father God. Father, thank you, Lord God, because your word says we can cast all our anxiety on you 
because you care for us. Father, I know, Lord, that you deeply, affectionately care for each one of us. And so, Lord, Lord, I pray for the, the viewers, Father, to cast their anxiety, their worries upon you and realize that you deeply care for them, Father. And Lord, your word says in Isaiah 26, Lord, that you will keep us in perfect peace, whose minds are steadfast because, Lord, they trust in you, Father. So I'm praying, Lord, for a release of trust, Lord, from our hearts, Father. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock e eternal. Lord, thank you for the promise of your word, Father, that we can put our full trust in you and experience your perfect peace, Father. Father, your word says when you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet, Father. I thank you, Father, for this promise of your word that when we lie down in the night, Father, and it's time for us to experience that sweet sleep, Father. Lord, there is no reason for us to be afraid because we have the promise of your word that when we lie down, our sleep will be sweet. Thank you, Father. Lord, for your word says that in Proverbs 3.24, Father. Father, stand on the promise of your word. It says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Father, so I thank you, Lord, for the peace, Lord God, that you have left for us, oh God. That peace that would mount God over our mind and over our heart and over our spirit, Father, because we're leaning on you, trusting in, in you, Father, depending upon you. And I come against the powers of darkness, every demonic assignment that comes to steal, to take away the peace, the joy. I, I come against that in the powerful name of Jesus, Father. Thank you, Lord God. And Lord, I just plead and apply the blood of Jesus over the minds and the hearts of those that are listening, Lord, to this, uh, this channel, Father. Lord, I pray, oh God, for hearts that are tender, hearts that are repentant, hearts, that, Lord, that's willing to obey, Lord, because, Lord, they want to experience your peace, O oh God, even as they lay down to sleep in the night. Father, thank you, Lord, because we're willing, Lord, to really lean into you and experience the peace that you have for us. And I say thank you for it right now, Lord, in the powerful name of Jesus. Lord, your word says also, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There is no reason for us to be anxious about anything, Lord or in any situation but lord we can boldly come before your throne and and present our concerns to you in prayer and in, peti in petition and afterwards give thanksgiving unto you father so lord i thank you lord for the promise of your word that you will guard our hearts and our minds in christ jesus Thank you, Lord God. Lord, I just thank you for your goodness. Thank you because your word says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Thank you for the promise of your word that we don't have to, we don't need to allow our hearts to be troubled neither let it be afraid but lord we're leaning on you we're putting our full trust and reliance in you and father your word says you are close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit so father i'm speaking lord and praying in the behalf of those that are brokenhearted they're crushed in spirit whatever the reason may be it may be because of a loss they have lost a loved one, Father. It may be cause of a broken relationship or sickness or illness or disease. But Lord, I'm lifting up those that are crushed, broken hearted, Father. May you strengthen them today in their mind, soul, and spirit and body. I just release the peace of God over their soul, Father. May they just grab hold of your word and trust you fully. In the powerful name of Jesus.
So I hope that you have enjoyed this prayer today. Don't forget to subscribe and also click the bell so that you can get new content. Be blessed and have a beautiful day in Jesus name.